Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, so today we are doing some DIY projects. I'm sorry if you cannot see me. I'm sitting in front of the window. It's like really early in the morning, so the sun is rising. Um, so we are going to tackle two DIY projects today. So we are going to do the window panels, like the window trims, not the actual sidings, like the inside, like the window. We're going to paint it black. Um, I've been seeing this go around a lot. I've been looking up on Pinterest, seeing what I want to do. And I've seen the black panels painted and I just think it's so beautiful. It fits with my style. So we are going to do that today um, and we are stripping and sanding and staining a bench, a wooden bench to be exact. So yesterday um, evening, I did the first coat of strip. Um, a lot of it came off, but I, you know, I have some little bit that is hanging in, hanging out, um, but they gotta go. Um, and the legs, the, the bench is very detailed. So that is also a little tricky of taking out the paint. Um, it's easy to put the strip on, but to like, you know, chip it off, kind of hard. So um, we're going to figure that out today. So um, I am just enjoying my drink right now. It's an iced chai latte. So good. It's really early in the morning and I just am so eager to start these projects. That's why I woke up so early in the morning today. I'm really excited. All right, okay, let's go. I'm going to add a strip, um, a layer of fit strip, um, and then I'm going to work on the windows. So we're just gonna pretty much leave it, probably put a thick layer so we can all get it off. Um, yeah, so let's start. So I just put the whole entire, I put a whole coat on. Um, so now we are just going to wait. So while I'm waiting for that, we're going to get started on the windows. Hey guys, so while we wait for our pant to, our bench to fully strip. So I am hoping that we could do the living room windows the dining room windows and maybe the kitchen windows today so i took off the um curtains and the bars off of the window that we're going to start with so the paint the paint that we are going to be using is for valspar from from valspar um it's a door and trim oil and rich enamel so this is what it says it does. So it's an anti-fade formula. It resists sc scratches and scuffs. Soap and water cleanup, no sanding or priming needed. So we're going to try to see if it lives up on their word with the no sanding and no priming because <laughs> I did not get that. So we're going to see. Um, I just got regular black I feel like that'll be a core. I mean, um, I feel like that'll be enough, hopefully. So let's get started.
Okay, guys. So, right off the bat, this paint does not go by its name because it said no sanding, no priming, and paint's not really sticking onto the trim. So, we are going to sand it and see. Alright, so I completely sanded them. I did have sandpaper, <laughs> but I was using that for the bench, but I opened up the packet and I saw that I have enough, so I can at least spare one. So I did that. So let's see for the moment of truth if it goes on nicely. I did wipe it and um, I did wipe and Wipe down all the windows after sanding them, so hopefully there should be no to minimum, minimum to no dust. Alrighty guys, so we just put the first coat. I'll get you a close up of how it's looking. So that's how it looks like. With the sandpaper, it you know grasped it grasped the paint much better, but hopefully in the second coat it'll be better. This one looks like it's like dried up, but we are gonna wait for these two. We're gonna wait a little bit and then we're gonna focus on this baby right now. Okay. Yeah, it's like all grumpy. pieces um the, the detail parts of this bench so we're just gonna sand it all out so we're gonna use the block first for like you know the easy more plain like flat surfaces um this is an 80 so it's coarse so hopefully it all goes well oh right so let's try it out this works. My goal is just to stay at, to sand it as much as I can. Um, we'll do restaining hopefully later down in the week, so we will see. <laughs> I just switched to this because the block was not doing anything. So this, I'm getting more quick results. So we're hopefully I'll have enough to do the rest. All right, guys, I finally finished painting these three windows. It took me like literally three coats to do this, um, which isn't bad. I mean, there are two, like three windows, so it does not take like a whole, it's not a whole day project, but um, 
I am done. Um, I just, you know, my last coat is pretty much like, um, you know, a little bit of like touching up. If I have like any white spots, you know, try to cover them as best as I can. And that is what I did. So right now we're just pretty much going to let this dry. And I will show you guys what it looks like at the final reveal. Alright guys, this is how sanding is going so far. Um, I got this part. <sighs> Partial. I did this. And the back part. I'm going to have to figure out. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with sanding because it's a very long process and I, I may have to invest into a sander because <laughs> this is a lot um i am gonna stop for today with this um because i do have an appointment and some errands to run and i kind of want to do it before it gets dark um stupid daylight savings but this is where i am cutting the video um hopefully part two um of this bench it'll be done for part two so then i have to make part three but um i'm doing my outro now and yeah i will show you these babies in just a second but um yeah anyways i'll see you guys on my next one